There it is. Redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. All the leaves are dry. that you have? I know your phone's been blowing up. I know you're still working this story. What's the latest that you can add to this developing story? This is something he's gone back and forth on. And in the wake of David Griffin, who he was very close with leaving the organization, he apparently has decided that he doesn't want to go the LeBron route anymore. But there is a ton of complexity to this deal. And I don't think this deal's done yet. Right now, as of right now, the Celtics won this trade. I felt like it was just bad for our franchise to be able just to trade away our, our superstar, you know, point guard. It always comes back to Cleveland, right? And LeBron and the chance for Dwayne to return to the finals. It's like, uh, it's kind of like when you start school and, uh, you know, you walk into the classroom, you're not quite sure who your classmates is, and when you walk in there, one of your best friends is in there, you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good class. You can, you can see D. Wade and LeBron in the finals of the NBA. They're really, really deep. I'm not gonna go down the whole roster, do it for yourself, but they're really, really deep. So they got enough firepower to me to keep up with Golden State. How much will Rose help? Uh, I know how good I am, no matter what the media say. Because the last time I checked, I'm looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers squad, and I see Tristan Thompson still there. I see Kevin Love still there. I see J.R. Smith still there. I see Kyle Korver still there. They're expecting Isaiah Thomas back. They've got Crowder there. You just acquired Dwayne Wade. That's after you got Derrick Rose. You got Jeff Green. This is a deep and talented team. No one who has ever logged the minutes that he has logged has played at this level ever in the history of basketball. I'm still concerned. I'm equally as concerned. Um, they did nothing last night to put my mind at ease. I didn't see what Ty Lu saw. I need LeBron, uh, LeBron to get out the bakery business. Too many turnover skills. We have an opportunity to be very good, but then you see you know, some of the laws that we have. It's just very difficult on our team right now. We're just trying to figure it out on the fly. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have time to, uh, you know, to practice a lot and do those things. And... I'm going to say it again. At his advancing age, he doesn't commit to the defensive end the way he used to be able to. He used to be the driving force on both ends of the floor, and he's not that guy anymore. And he's out of here! LeBron James has just been ejected. We have to talk a little bit about this a lot, actually, because the Cavs have been struggling. What is Isaiah's future? What is the future for a 5'9 injured guy? Yeah, I don't, I'm tired of being traded. I mean, that's not a good thing, but I just want to be where I want to. And you know where we're starting. It is Believe Land no more. Everyone's frustrated. Stephen A. Smith, did the Cavs make the right moves? And now what Cleveland gets in Jordan Clarkson and then Larry Nance, um, athletic forward, well, they've, they've transformed their roster today. You know, and uh, the trade deadline is always a difficult time for everybody. And they do not look like they will be able to beat the top two teams in the West the way it's currently standing. Oh, LeBron's to blame, without question. Uh, and the reason why is because he's the leader. 
No, I'm, I'm worried. I'm seriously worried about the Cavs. Uh, one of, if not the smartest player to ever play in the NBA. Uh, the way he understands the game, sees the game, um, it's all because of how smart he is. Uh, he is sort of the definition of a, of a basketball genius. I think LeBron has been a tremendous basketball player, not only for himself but for the league, right. but also for Cleveland. You know, it, it just, it's just hard for him, for me to say that he's anything but, but, but the top. Right. And I rank him up there, man, with Kobe, right. Mike, you know, I mean, some of the things that he accomplished, um, I mean, he's special. NBA superstar LeBron James is talking politics again. Here's his barely intelligible, not to mention ungrammatical take on President Trump. And this time right now, with the President of the United States, it's, it's at a bad time. Must they run their mouths like that? Unfortunately, a lot of kids and some adults take these ignorant comments seriously. An unbelievable show of arrogance for a talking head to try to tell someone else if they can speak, what they can speak about, when and where to do it. And it's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid a hundred million dollars a year to bounce a ball. I'm a black man with a bunch of money and having a crib in Brentwood and having the word nigger spray painted over my That's crazy. Gate. That lets you know I ain't too far removed and I still got a lot more work to do. And what she said was, it was insulting, it was, it was disrespectful. Who the hell is she? Sometimes the people that are, that are telling these players to, to shut up and dribble a basketball are less informed than players are. I called those remarks barely intelligible, not to mention mm, ungrammatical. I get to sit up here and talk about social injustice, equality, and why a woman on a certain network decided to tell me to shut up and, and dribble. So, thank you, whatever her name is. I don't, I don't even know her name. Well, let me begin by saying I'm incredibly proud of our players. And I, think I've, I think I've defeated the odds. And, um, and I want every kid to know that, and I want everybody to know that the youth, that they can, they can do it as well. They're great players, but no one voted for you. Millions elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. And, and that's why I would not just shut up and dribble because I, I mean too much to uh, my wife, my family, and all these other kids that look up to me for inspiration and trying to find a way out. First of all, I will not uh, shut up and dribble. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only get started now. Cause we own ya. You ain't gotta worry, don't be scary, cause we own now Ain't no get your side unless we finna buy the hotel Tell the world for shit to suck a dick, cause we own now
to plug in, turn on, and cop out. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live. We own ya. We own ya. Tell the world to sit the suck a dick because we own ya. Tell the government to suck a dick because we own ya. Tell the president to suck a dick because we own ya. We own ya. We own ya. Tell the world to sit the suck a dick because we own ya. Tell the president to suck a dick because we own ya. Tell the government to suck a dick because we own ya. 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 We own now, we own now, we own now, we own now. Loses a game one of the first round for the first time, despite a triple double as the Indiana Pacers. An outstanding performance on both ends of the floor. Well, they stunk. That's number one. They couldn't do anything for most of the game. Uh, they got out hustled. Victor Oladipo was clearly the best player on the court today. They have some really good players, but. They miss Kyrie Irving. Rob, how much help does LeBron need? There's not enough help. What more can you ask from this man? He's been doing this all year. Um, how many people come out with a triple-double and you ask them to do more? And this series is even at one and one. Max, should the playoffs impact LeBron's future with Cleveland? Absolutely yes. Collison misses. J.R. Smith the rebound. Three seconds remaining. Smith stops, puts it up. Off the mark, and the Pacers hold on and win. Pretty much the whole second half, you had half of the team's points. Did you just feel like it got to the point where it was four guys looking at you, waiting for you to make a play? Uh, I'm just trying to do what I can do to help the team win. But they had to win that game. It's as simple as that. They did that, now you got home court advantage back. You got the best player in the series. You should feel good about yourself. in the playoffs than the man that's universally regarded as the greatest clutch player. Okay, how does Indiana respond tomorrow night? Well, easy as it sounds, you have to forget about that shot. The man had 44, 10, and 8. He did. And they needed every last one of those 44, 10, and 8. Mm -hmm. And the three wins... He's averaging 41, 11, and 7. Now the Cavs are going back to Indianapolis up a game and ready to close out the series if they can. As LeBron James is down on the floor, and he has a gash above his left eye. So we'll head to a break. We'll revisit this when we come back. Stevenson sends a nice stroke. What's the moment going to feel like going into game seven? Uh, win or go home. The Indiana is caught between two thieves, Skip. Yeah. Fear and regret. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You fear what he could do. Because what are you going to do? Are we going to continue to play him one-on-one -on -one and let him go get 40? They're going to spy on him. No, because he has the fear. If we go one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to get 40. He's going to get 40. The regret is we let two games slip away. 
Yep. So now it's over. LeBron, can we talk about this guy and how he legit just gets better with age? What did the words game seven mean to you? Win or go home. It's the final game. It's win or go home. It's one game. Maybe 40 minutes, 48 minutes, I apologize. Uh, 48 minutes from all of us. We all got to give everything that we got in order to move on. cities begging for LeBron James help to be sure we have seen a lot of great from this guy how do you assess uh, your play to help the Cavs be in the second round um I just try to do whatever it takes to help us win but does he have enough left to beat those Raptors no, he didn't have enough to start with to beat the Raptors. I take the Raptors, period, in a first round series, but especially in the next round. This is not a series where you can say, all we got to do is have LeBron average 42 in the wins again and we're fine. The, the, the Raptors have eight of the best nine players in the series. What LeBron also does, he forces your stars to elevate their play. Yes, they may be primed for a, a long playoff run, but when greatness is in your way, it has a way of, of reaching another level. Siakam gets switched on him. No match. Lob it up. Oh! LeBron James! A major rock attack! Oh, LeBron! DeRozan drives in. James! Got a piece of it. The day, only thing that matters is trying to get a win, and, and my, my teammates are unbelievable tonight. They stepped up. Was last night more about the Cavs or the Raptors? Raptors. The Raptors, it was, they couldn't beat Big Brother. It's the Raptors who have the best record in the East. It's the Raptors who have the home court advantage. It's the Raptors who have a bench to complement the DeRozan and Lowry backcourt. But it's the Cavs who have LeBron. They don't believe they can beat LeBron James, and as you mentioned, they tried to shut the door, and LeBron stuck his foot in there. Come on, what y'all doing? I hate to say it, I don't think I can count on this from the Cavs every night, and that's going to be the problem. You want to say Cleveland has a psychological whammy on him, LeBron? I'll leave that to you. It may be true. It looked like it was true last night. Oh, LeBron! Oh, that thing was in the air so long, it should have had a movie on it. Watch LeBron shoot that right over. James on the drive, and one over C.J. Miles. LeBron with the pull-up, got it from the top of the key. LeBron backing down DeRozan. There's that fadeaway, and it's butter. We're speechless, oh, no. Ruby Brown. No. That was incredible. LeBron fades away over Siakam. He's hotter than fish free. Love with a nice cut. LeBron found him for the layup. Jeff Green from downtown. LeBron James coming on strong to close the quarter. He is in full rhythm right now. Backing down Lowry. Heat check. Still sizzling. We want to continue to just try to improve each and every game, and that's our, that's what we've done throughout nine games. We've improved, so um, you know we look forward to the opportunity of hearing our uh, our fans uh, be as loud as they can. But it's not an opportunity for us to lay our hands down. We got to continue to keep our guards up and continue to push. Thank you, LeBron. 
Jess? Look, you cannot overstate how big a loss this is for Toronto. It is hard to see any way they can now win this series. LeBron and the Cavs able to just dominate the Raptors besides the mental edge that they just somehow seem to have over this team. James inside off the great feed wow. from Kevin Long. James inside gets it to fall. Takes Lowry right inside and punishes the Raptors. Ball fake, wow. pump fake, bucket, LeBron James. Uh, Good yeah. hesitation nice by LeBron yeah. and muscled it in with the left hand. After quarter one, didn't look like we were going to have any type of special LeBron game. And then LeBron realized, my shot's falling tonight. Came to the basket and one! LeBron James! LeBron nice. threads the needle. Wow, wide open, Jeff Green. Getting downhill, look out. Step back three, got it! James, reverse time! Gonna walk down miles. A tough fadeaway. Oh. Who said it was tough? It's three seconds to go. Throws up the floater. You knew it was going in. Oh, Good night, Cleveland. That is for you. What does this fourth quarter do to prepare you for game four? I mean, I live for those moments. To be able to go out and come through for my team. This is literally just another day at the office. Think about all the franchises who have spent years and years and millions of dollars building themselves into potential contenders, only to have LeBron dismantle them. The Toronto Raptors, LeBron James is their kryptonite. He affects them in a profoundly negative fashion, completely demoralizes them and strips their heart right out of their chest. Look at this right here, the spin, and then the step through up and under, big time move right there. James now right to the rim. But are we sure this is not his best postseason? I, I think it is. Playoff LeBron is a real thing. The Cavs are the favorites in the East right now. The Cavaliers complete the sweep. It's on to the Eastern Conference Finals. We'll be ready for game one no matter if it's in Philly or in Boston. We have the exact same Eastern Conference Finals matchup we had last year, but with all new people involved. I'm not going to say they don't have a shot. Everybody knows they have a shot. We can't poo-poo that considering the depth that they have in the coaching of Brad Stevens. We have to concede that. Who wins the series? I got the Cavs in six, Skip. Or you got them um, in six? In six. Huh? This is the matchup we thought we'd see at the beginning of the year with all the yeah. trades when, when Kyrie got traded to the Celtics. They landed Gordon Hayward. This is what we thought we'd see, but just not like this. And I am saying five. Five? I'm saying five. Cavs in five, LeBron in five, because this is one team that will have no answer for LeBron James. The one thing that they wanted to make sure that I sent as a message, we are not the Toronto Raptors. Harford has been a good three-point shooter all season. Knocks that one down. Harford gets up and in. Harford one-on-one with Kevin Love. This Celtics game one, this Celtics Cavs game one, it told you what you need to know. I've been down 0-1, I've been down 0-2. Uh, I've been down before in the postseason. Um, but for me, there's never no level of concern. LeBron said his level of concern is zero. Mm -hmm. Can't get any less than that. Should LeBron be a little more concerned, perhaps, after what happened in game one? He knows, he knows the adjustments he has to make in game two. He won't play as bad as he played in game one. They get down 0-2. He should be concerned. For the first time all year, I'll be concerned. 0-2 is a different you? monster. James gets past Monroe, layup, count it, and one. But that's the mindset, Cole. Beautiful pass, and the foul. James gets it inside to Thompson. James, count it, and one. James falling away, a three. Oh, it's good, LeBron James. James, foul line jumper, got it. 
40 for LeBron James. James answers with a three-pointer. That's his fifth three-pointer of the game. And James knocks down the three. James drives, runner. Nice, soft touch. James and Morris one-on-one. -on -one. James to the rim, throws it up and in. James tries another three. That's good. Yeah. Rozier threw it behind the layup. Blocked by James. Oh, what a sensational block. Listen, what Ty Lue also said was, yeah, we have to get tougher physically, but we have to get tougher mentally. H how far do they have to go to get back into this game mentally? What are they lacking? What are they missing? Why wouldn't they be? If this, was as, this is as must-win as it gets for a lot of these other players. But the only answer that I have is they're going home and they have the cane. And the K-A-N-G will not let them lose game three. I don't care how good Boston's playing. I don't care what Brad Stevens has to do. up three-pointer. Knocks it down. James fires a three. That's good. LeBron James from downtown. Morris on him. James gets into the paint. Drives and finishes. James spreads the needle. Perfect pass to Nance. James inside to Thompson. Backdoor James throws it down. Throws it back out, J.R. Smith launches the three-pointer. Got it! J.R. Smith from downtown. James fires a three. That's good. Morris throws it in. Baines goes inside. Blocked by James. Nice speed inside again. He has had some magnificent passes tonight. James with another block. Not giving up on plays that we did in game one and game two, so... Um, you know, that definitely took account for our defense being a lot better today. LeBron James realized he finally decided before tip-off, I better play some defense from jump. Indiana was babies. Toronto had their heart snatched before the series even began. The second they knew I LeBron requested. James is who they would be going up against. And of course, Boston doesn't have Kyrie. You know, he has been to blame for being down two games to one, because they're still down two games they to down one. They down LeBron James, his first shot of the night. James gets to the rim easily once again. Here's James, powers to the basket, bank shot is good. Thompson running the floor, throws it down. Goes at him, pulls back, it's in the paint, one-handed shot, bounces around and drops through the soft touch. Again, drills a three-pointer. Throws it down to James, catches it, trapping it, backs it home. James drives, scoop layup, and a foul. Here goes James. Inside, backs it home. Oh, he now picks him up. James sets, puts up a three. Bang! Here comes James, down, layup's good. LeBron, your sixth 40-point game in the 2018 playoffs, the most since Allen Iverson in 2001. I mean, it's 15 years deep, seven straight finals. How are you doing this in year 15? Uh, just put a lot of work in. Uh, first of all, the man above is giving me some abilities that I've tried to take full advantage of. And uh, I put the work in day in and day out on my body, working on my game every day to try to put myself to be in the best condition I can be in in the postseason. So, um, my teammates, my coaching staff allowed me to go out and do the things to try to help us win. They trust me. And uh, besides the seven turnovers tonight, I think I earned their trust a little bit more. We have a best of three series in the Eastern Conference Finals. Eddie, are the Cavs now in control of the series? No doubt. On the attack, stops, Brown goes to the fake, count it, and one. There's the double team. Love back to James, drives, count it, and one. Balls of the sleep, little step back, knock down, jump shot. James gets past Baines, wide open, no help at all. Nance pushes Morris, Morris goes back. And the Celtics are one win away from a trip to the NBA Finals. Physically, how did you feel out there today? Um, I had my moments. For watching James the last minute or so, he looked fatigued. Um, but I think everybody at this point is tired. And you both think he looks 
a little tired. Not a little tired. He looks exhausted to me. Is tonight LeBron's last game in the land? We look forward to having an opportunity to uh, force a game seven. It's up to us to see if we can, uh, you know, come back here for one more. Andrews right at Tatum. Euro step backs it home. Drives in, hot step, layup. Makes it look easy. What a great alley up with Green with a slam. James Bezers now steps back, jump shot's good. 17 for James. Drives the runner off the glass, packs it home. James to Thompson. Contains him, hand up, so what? 17 for James, the lead is eight. Back out James, open three, that's good. And it's a 14 point lead. James for three. He's three for three from downtown. that you could lose and go home, but the back-to-back -back dagger threes, the late shot making, and the performance overall, LeBron, when it's all said and done and you perform like this, even though you're uncomfortable, what does it feel like? Um, you know, it feels good just to be able to, to play for another game. And, um, you know, like I've always said, game seven is the best two words in sports. I've gotten to cover LeBron James since his senior year in high school, and the biggest thing that I always say when I see one of these nights is, wow, if you don't like watching this, you don't like basketball. LeBron James, man, what do you say? He's made a medal. I don't know how he does it, um, but that was, a, that was an epic performance. Every time we watch, um, every time you're standing out there, every time you watch him on film, I mean, best player in the game. I mean, there's something different about LeBron, period. <laughs> um, what he does night in and night out is, is something remarkable. You know, that's why he's one of the best in the world, if not the best. I think you'd be crazy not to trust LeBron. I mean, that's that's the way to go in this. They're, they're running up against a monster right now. He is the beast of the East. And LeBron told me that, you know, my, my legend is secure. Uh, you know, I have my family. I have my purpose. I have my treasure. And so I asked him, what's the motivation here? If you've already accomplished so much, everyone else in the world, it seems, is trying to figure out uh, the answer to those questions. He said, well, you know, if you put a challenge in front of me, I'm going to go for it. James drives on Horford, swings it in the corner. J.R. Smith is open. That's good. J.R. Smith, James drives, layup. Count it and one. Orch Hill releases down the other end, drives, layup. He backs it in. James drives on Orford, gets inside, and lays it in off the glass. James slips a pass. Tristan Thompson for the open dunk. Ball deflected, picked up by James. Turns, shoots, and hits. James stolen by Rogier. Three on one break for Boston. Rogier to the basket. Oh, blocked by James. He did it again. James between the legs. Drives, continues off balance, banks it home. James for three. That's good. LeBron James from downtown. Grab from behind. Count it. Goal 10 and one. So, LeBron, we talked a little bit about this out there, but uh, tonight, describe the effort from the men behind you because, as great as you have been, it required some help. So, in different moments of this series, what do you remember about what these guys have given you? I think what people don't understand, um, people that never played the game of basketball, never played team sports, is that only to succeed, it has to be a team effort. This is like a movie uh, sequel. It's part four. And guys, usually with sequels and movies, <laughs> the further along they get, the worse they are. The Warriors are the largest finals favorite in 16 years. That's over a decade and a half. The odds are so against him. Yeah. You know, he's, he's a, he's a one-man band. Listen, Golden State is one of the best teams I've ever played. It's one of the best teams that's ever been assembled. And then, and then they added Kevin Durant. Uh, it, it's been an incredible run for Cleveland to be back in the finals once again for what they went through this season. They might get swept. It, it's going to be hard. It, it's going to be hard for them to win. They're giving the Cavs zero shot in this one. 
look, he knows they are outmanned against this Warriors team. It will be on him. Curry and Durant. Curry throws it up. Durant throws it down. James drives past Livingston and throws it down. James pull up jump shot. That's good. James drives and finishes. Holds it up high. Curry sets fire, puts it up. James drives and finishes. The slam brings the Cavs back within four. James drives on him, layup off the glass, banks it home. 40 points for James. Curry leads the break, throws it up to Thompson for the lay in. As James sets and fires and nails the three pointer. James fires a three. That's good. LeBron James from way downtown, and they've tied the game. James again from downtown. Eight seconds remaining. And pass inside on a foul call on Tristan Thompson. And Hill will shoot free throws. They're in the penalty. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith. Picks it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. It is one of the most brain-dead, idiotic things uh -huh. that I've ever witnessed. Right. Curry to Draymond Green. Back to Thompson. Corner three. Puts it in. Out to Livingston. Green fires away. That's a three. Draymond Green. And that'll do it. Golden State survives in overtime to take game one of the NBA Finals. I mean, exactly as you'd expect, tense, angry, hurt, just sort of in disbelief. They know exactly what you said, Scott, that they blew a huge opportunity here. And the next game, they're not going to get the same table set for them. I mean, we got to move on. I mean, it's a, you know, this game is it's over and done with. We had our opportunities. And, you know, and um, I, I'll never give up on JR. It's not, it's not my MO. I don't give up on any of my players. So. Game two, Stephen A., I'll start with you. What do you expect? Um, I think the Cleveland Cavaliers missed an opportunity, and I think that Golden State will pull away and go up 2-0, heading back to Cleveland. Either. And the question will be, is the Cleveland defense demoralized by the outcome of last night's game, or do they have it in them to do the same thing they did in game one? If they can, they got a shot. I just try to do whatever it takes to help our team win. Bruce, that to Kevin Love. Oh, back to James. Oh, beautiful delayed break. James spins, drives, counted, and one. James inside. Beautiful move from LeBron James. Beautiful pass. Tristan Thompson running the floor. LeBron James gets ahead of Steve. Throws it up, and Tristan Thompson. James drives, gets inside. Here's James. Got ahead of Steve. Drives to the bucket. Backs it home. Nice pass inside, and McGee. Durant to the basket. The dream on green. In for the slam. Who's going to have to put it up? Launches it up. Shot clock. Oh, he knocks it down. A brilliant display of shooting. The Golden State. LeBron James. And the Cavs fall short in the finish. Well, I think at the end of the day, we, we have a game three to play. And, um, you know, we got an opportunity to go home and we played um, you know, some really good basketball on our home floor, but you know, that, that shouldn't give us any comfort. We should still be uncomfortable with the series as we were in game one and as we were tonight. At this point, do you feel like the Cavs are about to get swept? Looks that way. But I'm just going on the Michael Jordan scale and I got to tell you, the shock of shocks to me last night in the first minute of the game was I expected to see takeover LeBron. I expected to see game one LeBron. The guy who came out last night was point guard LeBron from the start. He was the passive passer from the start. I'm talking mostly through the first half. I still hold out hope 
that LeBron James will get you one. Uh, you know, you certainly don't want to look at a play of that magnitude and assume that he's going to go out like that. Oh, um, I mean, we can't keep taking positives from losses. We, just, you know, we got to figure out a way to play 48 minutes of Cavs basketball and come out with a W. The Warriors are such a superior team to the Cavs. It's not like this is close. Hmm, I wonder who's going to win. Clearly, the Warriors are better. Durant, the handle, the crossover, the pull up. Shot's good. And they've come back to tie the game at 26. Smith back to James, back to Smith. Open three. Puts it in. James up and under, throws it off the backboard. Oh, what a perfect pass to himself. James backs it home. He's got 10. James double. Love way outside. James That's drives down the lane once again. Using the left hand. Durant shot is good. A three-pointer for Kevin Durant. Count it and one. Kevin Durant. <laughs> Puts it up and knocks it down. James steps in, throws it down to Tristan Thompson. Reverse, count it and one. James foul, count it one. JaVale McGee gets the rebound, will go back up and banks it home. Rebound, Kevin Love, back out. James fakes, sets, fires, bang! Shot clock at five. Kevin Durant way outside, delivers! Kevin Durant from downtown, it's a six-point game. Golden State with an impressive come-from-behind win. Second straight year, they win game three here at Quick Malone's Arena. Second straight year, Kevin Durant, brilliant. Gilbert did not put a championship team around him. He left for Miami. He came back. He did not have to come back. He came back. He's been in four consecutive finals. He's won a championship. Hold on. He showed you his love, right? Like, if he leaves, it's not that he's dissing everybody. It's that the organization is not giving him what he needs. What's he supposed to do? The reality of the situation is that if they lose Friday night, and I strongly suspect they will, when he's walking off this bench, and he's but walking to the bench, he's walking off the court, so in all likelihood for the last last time. Think I'm Thompson three-pointer, puts it in, Clay Thompson drills the three. I don't need a Yona, I just need you right here. Off the turnover, Curry, Curry. sets, fires, three-pointer, that's good. Steph Curry know. from downtown. what they can't see, tell me all the ideas. Durant cuts inside, gorgeous pass there from Draymond Green. Trees. Kevin Durant with his second rejection. I remember the reason why all of those Locked people that hell. passed. Remember you opened your heart for a second, gave me your time for a minute. Remember the tone of your voice when I told you that I might be coming to visit, but maybe I'm tripping, you catching me slipping. LeBron James congratulating some of the Warriors, and we'll get a standing ovation here at Quick Loans Arena. Will it be the last time he wears a Cavalier uniform? Fires a brain, knocks it down. Final seconds here of this 2018 NBA season. There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again, back-to-back -back titles, three in four years, and the latest with a sweep. Well, it was a no-show by the Cleveland Cavaliers. You don't want to take any credit from their two-time, the now two-time reigning defending NBA champions. Steph Curry was absolutely sensational, there's no doubt about it. Kevin Durant recorded a triple-double worthy of the MVP award. Do you feel like you've played your last game for the Cavs? Um. I mean, I have no idea at this point. Um, I, I don't have an answer for you right now as far as that. Fresh Kid C. Fresh Kid C. Yes, sir. Fresh Kid P. Fresh Kid T. Oh, yeah, we back. Oh, and Zach Foon, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> yeah. Chitty Bang. And we pretty much amazing. Can we hear you? song please i got you <laughs> hey yo i once was a kid all i had was a dream more money more problems when i get it i'm a pal it up now i'm dope on your pal you know i'm so fresh i'm a pal everybody get this down here i once was a kid all i had was a dream more money more problems when i get it i'm a
Ramsey will defend. Oh! Shows and the fans going wild with us. Tell mommy I'm sorry. There's James to the rim. It comes and the foul. Uh-oh. LeBron James with authority. Gets it to LeBron. For three for the win. Yes! LeBron!